Welcome to the We On Podcast. Glad to be here. Today on The Deep Dive, we're looking at something, well, something you might find surprising about planetary rings. Mm. Most of us, you know, immediately picture Saturn's amazing rings. Of course, they're iconic. But the ring story in our solar system seems well, a lot more active, especially when we look at Mars. Absolutely. It's true. Four planets have rings now, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. But Mars, Mars is actually pretty likely to become the fifth. The fifth? Wow. When are we talking? Uh, maybe in the next 50 to 70 million years, give or take. And what's really interesting is this probably isn't its first time having rings. Okay, wait. It's had rings before. How does that work? Well, the thinking is it's sort of a cyclical process. And the key player here is Mars's little moon, Phobos. Phobos, right. What's happening with it? Studies show it's uh, gradually getting closer to Mars. Uh, the rate is something like six feet every hundred years. Six feet a century. Okay, that sounds slow, but over millions of years. Exactly. It adds up. And at that rate, Phobos is basically headed for one of two things. Oh. Either crashes into Mars, Posts. or more likely, it gets torn apart by Mars gravity before it even hits the surface. Torn apart, just ripped up. Yeah, by tidal forces. There's this point called the Roche limit. Get too close inside that limit, and the planet's gravity overwhelms the moon's own gravity holding it together. And that's where the rings come from, the debris. That's the idea. Right. Phobos disintegrates, and all those bits, all that debris, well, it forms a ring system around Mars. Huh. And you said this might have happened before. Yeah. There's research, NASA studies included, suggesting Mars has a history here, like maybe 4.3 billion years ago. Mm. A big impact created debris that formed a ring, and that ring eventually clumped together to form Phobos. So Phobos itself might be made from an old ring system. Could be. And this whole process, Phobos breaking up, making a ring, the ring stuff maybe reforming into a new, smaller moon, it might have repeated. How many times? Possibly, you know, three to seven times over Mars's history. Each time Phobos gets a bit smaller, Mars' gravity just keeps pulling it in. Okay, but Mars has another moon, right? Deimos. Is it doing the same thing? Ah, uh, no. Deimos is quite different. It's way farther out, like 23,000 kilometers versus Phobos at only 6,000. Big difference. Huge. And Deimos is actually moving away from Mars mm -hmm. very slowly. It's expected to eventually just drift off, escape Mars's pull altogether. So definitely no rings from Deimos then? Nope. Very unlikely. Our own moon is doing something similar, moving away from Earth, so we're probably not getting rings anytime soon either. Right. So while Saturn has those, you know, majestic, seemingly permanent rings, Mars offers this picture of rings coming and going. Celestial dance almost. A dance of destruction and rebirth, you could say. Really shows how dynamic these systems can be. It definitely does. A fascinating glimpse into how solar systems change over time. Well, that's all we have for this quick dive. Stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come on the Weon podcast.